Hello, happy Saturday. I hope you're doing well. Please come in, join our family. We have excellent entities, very friendly folk here. Heavenly Father, please bless our subscribers. Give them perfect health, perfect wealth. Keep them free from all anxiety, all negativity. Send your angels to protect everyone from negative energy, anyone who would think negatively towards Taurus. Get them out of the way, please. Please. Taurus has had a lot of challenges lately. One more time. We're going to draw two Moonology cards in preparation for our tarot reading for Taurus. My Come through, Moonology. What? Oh, give us Moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. This card has shown up frequently for tar for Taurus's tarot. What a beautiful, illuminating Moon. You're very close to achieving your goal. Please don't give up before achieving your goal. Oh, one of my favorites. Have faith in your dreams. Waxing Crescent Moon. We've seen the Seven of Cups pop up lately in your readings Taurus look at this beautiful it's like a surreal type of painting beautiful pastels Taurus God bless you I know it's it's not been easy we're gonna get some energy cards from our old-fashioned purple deck Taurus energy. What? King of Pentacles. Sustainability. Security. Sustenance. Having safety. Safety abounds. Someone here feels or has felt in their life um, insecurity with their living situation. Page of Swords showing up again. Uh, the frequent flyer buyer is here. Page of Swords. His head is on a swivel. He is there to protect his beautiful empress. Page of Swords, nothing's going to harm you, not while I'm around. And Ace, or Eight of Swords, I'm sorry, in the upright position now. Someone feels isolated. Self-imposed restrictions. There's a little bit of self-judgment here as well. Someone's judging themselves. What is that about? Another card. Six of Cups. Okay, this is... I, I recognize you. My soul recognizes you at a cellular level. We speak to each other in 5D. Seven of Cups comes through. I know you. You know me. We can finish each other's sentences. But with this comes a lot of, I'm, I'm hearing the word responsibility. I have to take care of my responsibilities. We're going to get into a, a reading for Taurus. This is going to be, I already feel messages coming to you. Taurus, let's have this reading for Taurus, please. I use a double deck if you're wondering why it's twice as large, because there's two decks here. And yeah, I, I do find that that helps me bring context to a lot of the messages. Okay, very well, very well. Thank you, my audience. Bless us, God, please. Taurus, come through. Moon, the Piscean energy. Back to, back to this. Um, those things. Don't have fear. Have faith in your dreams. The the moon, Piscean energy. It's like the tip of the iceberg. There you see the tip. There you can contend with what you see. But you have to have faith that so much more lies below. So much more is to this story than what you see. Nine of Cups. 
such a jovial, such a, a faithful, um, positive, joyous card coming towards each other. Wish fulfillment. Nine of Cups. We're going to clarify all of these to the Ten of Cups. Got it. So there's a natural progression. Watch this. There are, are things that are yet to be understood. Yet things are yet to be stated. Words must need be said. Words. Someone's going to communicate with you. This is the wish fulfillment because they need to have this type of a communication. This heartfelt, this soul felt. I need to speak to you. And then I need to speak of our Ten of Cups, our Ten of Hearts, our happy family. All the wish fulfillment coming to each other so we can have our happy home. Oh, and my Six of Wands, my beautiful, beautiful bride. You see, this is um, when someone in the colonial times was betrothed. Betrothed? Betrothed. Okay. Um, the mother-in-law to be would create this wreath and then the groom to be would ride around on a pony kind of a decorated pony showing everyone look at i have success i have success in this connection look at you guys i have success so it's a community acknowledgement of someone having a success of this connection that's what we're coming to that's where we're going with this in the middle of your reading manifestations Life, I, I don't like to get very personal because there's, there should be a boundary between reader and audience. But if, if I should give, give you an insight to how positive, mindful prayer and manifestations have um, made my life not just bearable, but bountiful. Um, please keep your manifestations pure. Have have full faith in what your dreams are. We should talk about this, perhaps a whole video dedicated to manifestation. But please, in the middle of your reading is the magician. This is like a ringing bell for you. Come to school. Come to school. We're going to clarify, of course, to the soulmates, two of cups. Oh, right underneath the happy family. This love, 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 love. Two of Cups. Emotion. Emotion. But with it, remember, the our energy cards, we have the, the King of Pentacles. That, that energy, that emotion is welcome, and it's also um, protected. Someone here, when they, when they opened their heart, they felt chastised. When someone opened their heart, they felt judged. This is coming to an end. Let's continue. Yes, letting down the burden. Letting down this burden of the unknown truths within your own heart. Taking that leap of faith, finally. Coming together, wish fulfillment being manifested so that both of you can take this leap of faith. And the last card, oh, lovely, Ace of Wands, that divine inspiration. Without inspiration, why should we even jump out of bed in the morning? We must be inspired somehow. At the bottom of the deck, we have the world. How gorgeous is this? Protected by Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, and Leo. So that your soulmate may step through this aperture and create a new world with you. Trust and believe. I'm going to ask for divine guidance so that we can have clarification and messages. Alleviate some of this worry, consternation, pain, feelings of lack. Let's get to it. Very good. Taurus, come through. We're going to begin with Piperian energy of the moon. Yeah, the tip of the iceberg. You guys, yeah, you understand how many lifetimes the two of you have spent together. How many lifetimes? I'll put this right here. So we have 
Piscean energy of the moon with its waxing and waning. Here we have the waning moon, the waxing moon. Have faith in your dreams. I wish I could just hand this to you. It's important. Maybe you can write it down even. Have it be one of your mantras in your manifestation prayer time. Have faith in your dreams. Yeah. Yes, hangman. Seeing life in a different perspective, a brand new perspective. This is, yeah, of letting down the burden. See, when I use a double deck and these cards come out twice, it's as if the universe is like, look, look, really look. <laughs> letting down the burden so that you can have that Leo energy of the sun card. You guys, look how beautiful this is. High searing energy of the moon which is a gorgeous card because it allows for possibilities that we don't even realize yet. To the coming together of the wish fulfillment, nine of cups, six of cups, six of cups, the sun. Okay, let's do continue. Yes, please, please remember, take care of yourself so you can be the best you. When you are connecting with your person finally, Remember that you need to be rested, well um, fed, well um, looked after, self-care, self-love, so that you can be the best you when the two of you do connect. And here's your inspiration. You want to do better. You want to do more. You, you may want to um, get rid of some things in your house that don't bring you joy. Make room. Be inspired. Somebody, where, where else? Ah, in your intuition. Yeah. So we, we have ins inspiration and intuition, where you 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 meet at the dreams. You meet at the five D. Your inspiration and your intuition. Trust and believe in your intuition. Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Yeah. Get prepared get prepared you guys that ten of cups is ready to go and here we are from the from the universe from the divine ace of pentacles this is the unconditional love that's coming your way worth every bit of anticipation please get out of your head with worries so we have the eight of swords in the upright here for energy cards meaning someone is in their head and then the universe is asking, please, get to that point, especially after you relax, after you recharge your batteries with the Four of Swords. Let me tell you about a lot of pain, worry, uh, regret. A lot of these negative emotions and energies come about when people are exhausted or they haven't fed themselves well. A lot of false imaginings and fear come from exhaustion. Please, take care of yourself. Get those extra nap times going. Yeah. After everything you've been through and your person, a lot of, a lot of life lessons. Betrayal, cheating, um, but it's in reverse. So that, you yeah, know, we're writing for Dignity is coming back. The Empress. The Empress pregnant with possibilities. We, we often see the Empress as um, a sign of fertility, pregnant with possibilities. So much is going to happen to you, Taurus, in, the, in this coming year. We have the Six of Wands. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm a super couple, and we're going to go for a wish fulfillment. We're going to connect the beautiful King of Pentacles, reaffirming sustainability, security, safety of some of the best Torian traits. Not going to worry about how bills are going to be paid at night because both of you together are a power couple. Trust and believe. Piscean and Moon. I love it. Um, you don't know half of it. That's what I'm just hearing from my soul, my spirit guides. You don't know the half of it, 
Taurus, <laughs> the Hierophant. You're going to be stepping into your power. This truly is a new world coming towards you with this manifestation. No longer Five of Pentacles, it's in reverse. No longer feeling like everyone... No, what is the message? I feel like I'm never invited to the party. I feel like I'm never invited to the dance. Here we are, Five of Pentacles. You're, that kind of um, negativity, that Eight of Swords, is going to be in reverse, going to let go of being up in your head. Your person's not going to... Um, I have to watch what I say. I was just going to say they're not going to allow you to be in... Yeah, um, to be negative toward yourself. I mean that not in a creepy way. They're... Their mission is for you to be comfortable, to be happy, to be settled in life. And not settled, not in, um, like I'm settling for something, but not in a nomadic state. Your home, your sustenance, your stability. I should say, okay, I'm being told not your home, our home, our stability. Continue. Communication is necessary. Communication is going to be running uh, like a waterfall, and taking that leap of faith. Communication is going to open the door to a lot of the um, potentialities in this connection. Communication is, as they say, key. Then we go to our two of cups, and there is the emperor has to be near his empress, has to, must to, must be, must be, wants to, has to be near his empress. Aries energy. Taurus, this is, I know sometimes it feels like everything's up in the air and I, how am I going to trust what I can't see with my eyes? You know, Piscean moon. How can I trust what I don't see? I see the tip of the iceberg. I don't see below it. Trust and believe the emperor is here, right next to his empress. It's going to happen. And here we are. Four of Wands. This is the great foundation, which not even a tower event can disrupt. This is our home. Uh -huh. And the flirtations between the two of you is off the chart. One more, please, in there. From the divine is the sign saying this is a cup of love that overflows. And it's not because the vessel is broken. It's because there's so much love that even a great vessel like this can't even hold it, can't contain it. This love is evergreen. This love is ever plenishing. It will never run out. Every night is honeymoon. Ten of Wands, fire energy in reverse. Meaning what? Let down this burden. The burden of what? The burden of having a fear of not of the unknown. Let me be more succinct. Listen to me. Letting down the burden of the fear of the unknown. It's really calling for faith, isn't it? The Seven of Cups, I love it. The two of you do speak through dreams. And some of these dreams might be really, huh? Like, what? <laughs> um, in the, there are often allegories. So something might represent something in a dream. It's the communication. Six of Pentacles. Fairness. Parity. This is the Libra card of justice in action. Libra card of justice is the theory. Six of Pentacles is the action. You are my star. So this person, everything that they have been working for in this connection is coming to fruition. They're getting ready because you're the lovers. This Gemini energy. In preparation of meeting, in connection. Blessed by Archangel Raphael, the Archangel of Health. Remember Four of Swords, take care of your health. The lovers. Right now, separated by a mountain, true. There could be a distance between you and your lover, your connection. It could be an age gap, a wage gap, a culture, two different cultures connecting. 
you know, this person is, is working, 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 trying to understand what it is beneath the surface, which is perfect because if you think of the Titanic, getting hit by an, an iceberg because they didn't reckon with what was below the, the surface of the water. This person wants to make sure there's not hidden, hidden agendas that are going to cause any kind of disruption. Remember, they represent, they're represented by the Page of Swords, the protecting, oh, look at, look at. Aquarian star card, the fool, the lovers, Aquarian star card, ace of wands, ace of cups, <laughs> page of pentacles. Someone's going to give you something, something that they love to their love, the empress. You know, the way, I the energy I feel, they're so tender, they're so genuine and kind. When they think of you, they um, they might have really an edgy exterior. They might um, they, but you know, looks can be deceiving, right? Because this person is very tender with their words, very um, careful with how you feel. They care a lot about how you are doing. They want to make sure you are okay. All right, and this work. This person is also stashing some money away um, in anticipation, three of wands, in anticipation of your great foundation, your home together, king of pentacles, sustainability. This person's working on their communication. They know that you're the super couple. I, they want to speak to you about this. They want to say, do you know how we're connected? Do you remember our past lives? Do you, do you recall when we were in love? And I will always protect you. Knight in shining armor. <laughs> Manifestation. <laughs> Calling again. Work on your health, Taurus. Work on your health. The universe is going work on your health. Make sure you are taking care of yourself. That Aries is coming through with a quickness. The bottom, the sun card. You have every right to expect beautiful things to happen, Taurus. You have every right. Let me pull yeah, make sure you can see all of the cards. You have every right to have wonderful expectations about what's coming forward. This person that you are connecting with is very deep, very spiritual. Also, they've been through a lot and they are very careful with your feelings. Let's try to get some messages. Please help me. One more time. Spirit. Okay. Okay. Come through. You're the one for me. We're twin souls, and that's what scares me the most. I'm seeing it all clearly now. When I tell you that they are careful, you know, that part about it scares me the most. They are careful. They are um, very cognizant of your feelings, of your emotions, of what you've been through. I didn't realize what I had with you until it was too late. Have you moved on or do I still have a chance with you? They realize that they've made you wait. Let's put that burden down right here. I can't admit that I'm wrong. My ego comes between us. I hide my insecurity behind my foolish pride. Interesting. You're always in my heart, even though I'm not in touch. I observe you from a distance. That's our page of swords. That's our page of swords. I observe you from a distance. I send you protection. What is this? I can't admit that I'm wrong. My ego comes. Okay, this person might be a celebrity of sorts. 
this person might be well known in the community or at least well known somehow in the genre they they are well known and understood to be a giant understood to be um someone of like the hierophant they people look to them for their inspiration i didn't realize what i had with you until it was too late okay so they've been working on themselves but but realize that they've been through a lot so they're not going to come to you until they're prepared I keep getting signs that remind me of you. I can't ignore them anymore. I need to reach out to you communication. I keep getting signs that remind me of you. I can't ignore them anymore. I need to reach out to you. Okay, so we have a lot of emotion here. Again, it's why it's interesting is because this person in this connection doesn't come across as someone who is a deep well they are they're a very deep thinker they're spiritually connected and they're very concerned with how you feel they see you as the empress and and they are the emperor they need to be near you where is that i need to reach out to you okay taurus keep your head up I'm sending you a lot of prayers and love and take care of yourself all right okay we'll see us tomorrow okay bye-bye